Hi, I'm Avital Harari, endocrine surgeon at UCLA Health. Today we're going to talk about what it's like to have a diagnosis of thyroid cancer. Maybe you or one of your friends or family members were just diagnosed with thyroid cancer. I know this can be scary, and you're probably wondering how dangerous is it to have thyroid cancer? Hopefully, I can walk you through the treatment process and you can get a sense of what the prognosis is. First, I wanna just tell you that fortunately, most folks have a type of thyroid cancer that is slow growing, treatable, and curable. The prognosis of thyroid cancer really depends on the type of thyroid cancer you have, how far it's spread, and what age you are. This is one cancer where it's actually good to be younger because with most thyroid cancers, you cannot present at an advanced stage if you're under the age of 55. When you find the thyroid cancer, it's important to see if it has spread beyond the thyroid. Thyroid cancer usually spreads to your neck lymph nodes before spreading to the rest of your body. Usually we can check for this spread through a neck ultrasound. The good news is that even when the cancers have spread to the lymph nodes, they can also be treated successfully and are rarely fatal. For the best outcomes, thyroid cancers and any lymph nodes involved should be treated or watched closely. This usually involves surgery. If your cancer happens to be small, about a centimeter in size, and there's no sign that it has spread or there are other nodules in the thyroid, then some doctors may give you the choice to watch these cancers without surgery since they tend to grow slowly. However, if you choose this path, you must be careful about getting ultrasounds on time for the rest of your life since they can spread or grow at some point and then may require more extensive surgery. Most folks choose to surgically remove the thyroid cancers when they're diagnosed. This may mean taking half or all of your thyroid out. This may also mean removing any lymph nodes that are in your neck that were seen on ultrasound. Surgery does have risks and some cancers, even if not fatal, may be difficult to remove without complications. You might have issues with your voice after surgery or with your calcium levels. Fortunately, this does not happen often with surgeons who perform a lot of these surgeries. So it's important for you to find a surgeon who operates on a lot of thyroids. Unfortunately, a small number of thyroid cancers are more aggressive than others. Subtypes of thyroid cancers like anaplastic thyroid cancer, poorly differentiated thyroid cancer, tall cell or sclerosing variants of papillary thyroid cancers can all spread faster and have worse outcomes compared to the classic thyroid cancers. Since these other types are more dangerous, meaning there's a higher risk that it might grow back or a higher risk of actually dying with these types, we recommend that patients with these more aggressive types be treated by experts like ones here at UCLA Health. So how dangerous is thyroid cancer? Usually not so dangerous, but it's important that these cancers be found and treated completely in order to prevent spread that may cause complications or reduce life expectancy. Fortunately, most folks do well. Follow-up though is crucial for all patients with thyroid cancer because they can return even many years after successful treatment. For these cancers found in later stages, there are still treatments available for most patients. If you have questions about your particular cancer, please discuss these with both your surgeon and your endocrinologist. Thank you for watching.